toddler is still sick two weeks after he picked up a discarded drug needle on a busy street. It's been agonizing for the boy's mother who won't know for months if her son picked up a serious infection. And as Kent Mulgat reports, it's a wake-up call for parents everywhere. Take a closer look at the ground and you might be shocked at what you find. That is not a very good thing for a mother to see on the ground. But it turns out discarded needles are common. It happens on a daily basis, um, pretty much. Um, we are proactive in looking for them throughout the downtown area. Do you have a smile? 17-month-old Xavier smile? was playing outside when he found one. It was actually like right, right there. And before his mother could intervene, he had it in his mouth and ear. Yeah, I just grabbed him, grabbed the needle in one hand, jumped over a railing and I put him in one sink and the needle in the other and I sterilized his hands, his legs, his face, like everything. The toddler has been sick ever since, but it will be six months before he can be tested for hepatitis and HIV. I'm scared, I'm mad, I'm sad, I'm angry and all at the same time, so I don't even know what that emotion is. It's like a wake-up call to keep a sharper eye on what our children are doing. The health authorities suggest you can dispose of a needle by using tongs and gloves and placing it inside a sharp-proof container. The people who work downtown say you're better off calling in someone who truly knows what they're doing. It is something that you can do, but I don't highly recommend it because if you're not doing it properly, there's the situation of getting poked. Let's go get your Jeep Jeep beep beep. Krebs has been urging her landlord to do a better job of cleaning up and parents everywhere to be just that much more careful. Kent Mulgat, CTV News, Kelowna.